pump, pump, whatever junk you see, you are the lord of the pump I see, you'll take all of the sheeple's money for you are the lord of the pump you see. Anyway, uh, this is a Thursday, August 12th, trade recap, Michael Good Reaver Trades, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some trades, VRML, scalp, uh, the line was promoting this. He's like, really, the earnings weren't that bad. Right around here at 650, went up, and then started going down. Tim Sack shorted it. That's why it went down precipitously, but his trading thesis is highly good in shorting it after it went up just because of the lion master. Anyway, other stuff. Cabin covered. It's just ugly because there wasn't a ton of volume, so good covers. I'll take it. Not a, a huge percent profit for uh, a pump, but again, I'll take it. Um, other things, I played Sens both way. I am the Sensei. In pre-market, I bought it at 43 cents right here. Not right there. Yeah, right around there. We'll call it that. Then in pre-market I sold it at just under 45 cents or just under 46 cents. Nice little scalp. Uh, it was hot OTC pumped it last night. Uh, some other crappy ones, and then Beacon, Stock Preacher, Micro Stock Profit. They're all Beacon, of course. Uh, Blue Wave Advisors. Uh, they waited till like right at the open. They did it as their like lightning pick, but uh, they sort of gave it away that it was going to be the same one as the hot OTC pump in their. Uh, teaser emails, so easy to play it there. I played it small because risky 5,000 shares made 100 odd bucks. Then uh, I shorted it 40, just over 43 cents on average. Sort of like right back here or so, or here. And uh, it was you know, choppy for a while, and then it died. And I covered at an average of just under 37 cents, so not a bad cover. Again, I could have waited till the close to the very end of the day, but, and uh, I, I played that short, I got a new, uh, I should explain this, I'm not going to explain it in the future, just because it's a hassle, but uh, I got a small account at a prop trading firm, and they have really good borrows, even on, you know, insane things, uh, it's called Broad Street Trading, and uh, I have to say this, I do not recommend ever using a prop trading firm, the way they're managed uh, with commingled funds makes it all too easy for you to lose your money even if you trade okay. If the firm goes bankrupt, you lose your money. If uh, somebody at the firm decides to, you know, uh, steal all the money, you lose your money. And, uh, you know, that's not that uncommon. If uh, the firm is messing up the accounting and they get shut down, uh, at the very least you lose access to your money. So for me, I've got a large account, uh, $7,000 in uh, to this account that, uh, you know, with really great borrows on uh, pink sheets and uh, OTC stocks, I can probably uh, double that in a few months and then uh, I'll take my profits out, just be trading with house money and then, you know, if they go bankrupt or they steal my money, I'll be okay with it. Well, I won't really be okay, but I'll, I, I won't, I'll be none the worse for wear. So, uh, that's the caveat, and I, I really do not recommend this. It's, uh, it's risky, and, and a lot of people uh, would be tempted to overtrade too. But uh, prop trading firms are out there, and there are options to people uh, if you don't have a ton of money or want uh, uh, you know, other things. Uh, the other thing is, uh, unlike say with IB, with them, I can short a 40 cent stock and only have to put up as much cash as uh, you know the position takes with uh, interactive brokers I have to have $2.50 per share in cash for that anyway not going to get into that in the future just explaining it now and that's where I traded sends and the platform is the exact same as speed trader it's DOS, tra uh, DOS trader pro and I'm paying a significant monthly fee for you know that platform but anyway, uh, that's it for today. See you next time. ReaperTrades.com.